What are some tricks in bed that everyone should know? If your sheets keep popping off the corners of your mattress, you need deep or deep pocket sheets. Change your bed sheets. Having a clean bed sheet really changes the ambience and puts your thermostat down a few degrees. If you have a fan on low, even if it's not pointed at you, it can create the kind of noise that prevents you from hearing every little house click and thing happening outside. When it comes to pillows, quality is more important than quantity. Also, don't sleep in your day wear. Tuck the most inaccessible corner first when changing the sheets. Be careful if you make the jump to a king size bed. There's no going back. Everything else sucks. Sleep with your own blankets. I seriously don't know how couples share a blanket. NSFW equals nighttime suggestions for wakefulness. Putting one arm under the pillow makes it more comfortable. Nothing you ever do in bed will feel as good as taking a bath and sliding into a fresh set of sheets. Keeps depression at bay. Make sure to place torches all around your bed so monsters don't spawn and you can jump into bed right away. Stick one foot outside the duvet. Keeps you remarkably cooler. And shows you laugh in the face of monsters. I recommend putting your phone down at least half an hour before bed to ensure a good night's sleep. Like that's ever gonna happen. Switching the direction you lay in the bed makes it feel like a new bed. Many people will say that a good mattress can change your life. But they often neglect to mention that a good pillow can have a similar effect. Velociraptors can only reach the bottom bunk. If you are sleeping with your so and they have most of the bed don't be afraid to just sleep on the floor. Buy a comforter one size bigger than your bed. For example, if you have a queen size bed, get a king size comforter. Edit. Since a lot of you are asking and the answer got buried. If you have a king, then the next size up is Wyoming king followed by Alaska king. After that, go make your own damn blanket. You tend to sleep better when the room is a bit colder than normal. Put your thermostat down a few degrees. Not only will you sleep better, but you'll save on heating bills in the winter time if you live in a colder climate. But I like waking up in the middle of the night feeling like I died in my sleep and crossed into some desert hell. Since this was tagged NSFW, don't work from your bed if you're working from home. Separating your workspace from relaxation space will help you be more productive when you're working and disengage from work when you're done. Never. And I mean never. Eat an everything bagel in bed. The results are devastating. If you make your twin beds into bunk beds there is so much room for activities. Blanky. Have at least three layers over you when it's cold. Just like clothing. Airing your bedding makes it easier to get and stay warm. And you can easily remove single layers if you get too warm. When you're camping. Especially in the winter. Flip this around. Have three layers beneath you for every layer on top. Helps keep you insulated. Don't eat crackers in bed. If you fall backwards onto the bed and lift your legs. If you have large thighs and sleep on your side. Get a pillow for your knees. It will support them better and. The other guys. Prevent crushing your bits. Progressive muscle relaxation. Start relaxing your feet. Then your calves and thighs. Move upwards and relax your back muscles. Your arms and shoulders. Take some deep breaths. Relax your neck muscles and jawline. You will fall asleep in peace. If you can't sleep. Count sheep. Don't count endangered animals. Laying on your left promotes digestion as gravity moves food through and cuts down on heartburn. If you get rid of the bed frame and set it on the floor. It prevents the monsters from hiding under it for extra bedroom safety. If your mattress is old and starting to feel uncomfortable. Instead of replacing it. Buy a $100 mattress topper. 
it can make your mattress feel new again and give you a few more years of use before you need to replace it. Negotiate the level of white noise in your bedroom before committing to sleeping together. I made a bad bargain and 17 years later I'm still paying for this mistake. Eater. We've talked about it. And this is a hill he is willing to die on, and I'm not. I love sleeping in the same room more than I hate the fan. Even though I do hate the fan. Compromising on the issues that are more important to your partner is what gets you to 17 years I guess. The even more ridiculous part is that the dogs that sleep in our room are now trained to like it. So sometimes when he is gone and I try to sleep in silence. The dogs will lay in front of the fan and growl and bark until I turn it on because they like the noise and the wind in their hair. And I am a pushover and turn it on for them because I love my puppies even more than I love silence. Turn the pillow upside down when it's hot. Don't be afraid to sleep separately from your lover. Make sure to cover your whole body with the blanket for extra defense against the darkness. Match your sheet color to the color of your dog. After having a white husky and dark blue bed set. It's disturbing to see how much air there is. If you're covered head to toe with your blanket. The bad guys in the dark cannot legally attack you. Edit. Oh well damn I have an internet award now. Give your so some extra room by curling up and sleeping on the bench at the end of the bed. It's actually a lot bigger than it seems. Building a pillow fort around you surprisingly makes you feel a lot more comfortable while sleeping. One trick I'm quite fond of is short sheeting. You pull the sheet all the way up to the head of the bed and then you fold the bottom up to sit where the top usually is just in front of the pillows. When someone tries to get into bed they won't be able to stretch their legs out and it is hilarious. Shoes off. If you get a running start before you flip the light switch off. You decrease the chance of monsters under the bed being able to snatch at your feet before you make it to the safety of the bed. Edit. No. I will not go to the A. I. Overlords and get smart bulbs. Get an electric blanket and tuck it under your fitted sheet. Use the controls to preheat your bed on cold nights. Before you get into bed. We'll pee off surface for crumbs and detritus. Pull the comforter bottom sheets taut and tuck deeply in each corner for stability. Fluff pillows. Ensure the duvet inner is pulled to each corner and sits nicely in the cover. Correctly align the duvet to 90 degrees and ensure it's aligned evenly across both sides. Give a quick shake of the duvet to freshen the air underneath. Always tuck the bottom of your duvet under your feet. There's room for this as your duvet is one size larger than your bed. Ensure all lead lights of any kind are covered over with black tape. Jam newspaper into any door that might wiggle in the wind. Ensure curtains blinds are all the way down and wedged into the window indentation so there's no gap for light around the sides. Ensure you have wax or silicone earplugs. Lie awake for 2 hours thinking vaguely about computer games or what you'd do if you won a billion dollars. Dot. You think I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. This is most wholesome post. I believe the intention was for dirty responses and I have learned so much from the positive comments. Don't share covers with a companion. Let them have their own. And take joy in the comfort of covers that are yours. No fighting over covers. No conflicts over what kinds of covers are preferred, for anything other than decoration. Bring your own when you sleep if you must. If you're one of those weird people who can fall asleep holding someone else and stay asleep, then I envy you. For everyone else. Personal covers solve everything. Things that really help me perform better. Eating a small snack 30-60 minutes before. Do it consistently the same time each night. And again at the same time every morning. Stay away from alcohol. Sugary foods. Even starchy foods for 6 hours before. The big plate of pasta 2 hours before isn't doing you any favors. Earplugs can be a great aid in a noisy environment. If you live somewhere dry using nasal gel right beforehand. It prevents nosebleeds. Don't forget to brush and floss. I feel like that goes without saying. Don't rush into it. Ease your way in. Relax. Starting slow is key. 
Going to the bathroom and drinking water right before always helped me. Just part of my routine though. I genuinely can't tell which approach to the question this answer is taking. I have multiple pillows depending on how my body wants me to sleep that night. There's firm. Medium. Soft. Set the room to absolute zero then cover up in 13 blankets. Don't watch TV right before trying to go to sleep. Listen to music or read a book. Your mind needs less sensory input to be lulled to sleep. If you've got a tie mattress and can't quite afford a new one. Consider investing in a memory foam mattress topper. I got one a couple weeks ago and it's made a huge difference. Kissing your homies goodnight. Life pro tip. If you want SX advice just say you want SX advice. Otherwise you'll get bad advice. But. What if I want both advice? Weighted blankets are the iron bomb. Combine with two layers of Costco mattress topper and you go into a coma. I originally thought this was a thread for tricks. In bed. SX tricks. That was the intent. Reddit is for trolls. I haven't seen Reddit come together like this in ages. Warms a girl's heart. Really? Make your bed. I know this is hard for a lot of people but make your bed for sleeping. People who watch TV. Play games. Look at their phone. ETC ETC will typically have a much harder time falling asleep than people who use it for sleeping only. When sleeping is all your bed is used for. You train your brain to think oh. Now I'm in bed. So that means it's time to sleep. All other distractions make it harder. Wash your pillowcases regularly. Doing this could also prevent blemishes on your face from sleeping on dirty pillowcase. A weighted blanket muffles the sound of your vibrator more than a regular comforter. If you double up. No one can hear it. I can't jerk off to this. I can. Bring a second cover for when she steals yours. Relax and ride out sleep paralysis to lose it don't struggle. For the love of god if she says something like don't stop or right there keep doing exactly what you are doing don't speed up. Don't go harder. Don't decide to start talking dirty. Just keep doing what you are doing. Trust me on this one. Make sure you change out your pillows regularly. The stuff that builds up in there. Sweat. Boogers. Oil from both your face and hair. Dead skin build up. Yes. We got pillow covers which we change and wash every few days. You mean you buy brand new pillows every few months? I love the fact that OP Mark this NSFW expecting some SZL content and people are actually sharing literal bed tips. Invest in a decent pillow. A lousy pillow will ruin your life. While you're at it. Invest in the best bed you can afford. You spend one stroke three of your life in bed. You might as well splurge. Bad sleep and bad sleeping posture spills into all aspects of your life. Also. In the winter. Sleep with the windows open and use an electric blanket. Oh man. Best sleep ever. I was impressed by all the sleep suggestions but then I remembered this is Reddit and none of us are getting laid. When I need to fart, assuming I am still awake, I slowly turn my body to face my wife and then gently pull the sheets laterally across my body, exposing my rear to the chilly night air. I then delicately push out tiny puffs so as not to wake her. When I feel that I am done flatulating. I make some light fanning motions with my hand to propel the cloud of death to the far corner of our room. If it all goes smoothly. I ease myself back into a sleeping position and pretend like nothing happened. If it doesn't go smoothly. I grab my pillow and go sleep in the guest bed. According to Glamour magazine likely drag a fork on the underside of his penis are you not? Always have a fan on. The white noise drowns out your door creaking open by the monsters. Covering up with more blankets while sleeping new traps more body heat and keeps you warmer. Storage bins under the bed. 
chocolate does not leave crumbs in bed. Dot. At least not as many crumbs as other snacks. Until a hardy bite sprays a shower of little chocolate shards for your body heat to turn into weird freckles on your white sheets and back. Two words. Weighted blanket. It feels like you're getting a whole body hug. It's amazing. If you shave one leg it's like sleeping with a woman every night. Ting the bed helps remind your significant other that you're the alpha. Spining super fast can make you clip through the bed. For good circulation and to prevent blood clots in the legs. It's wise to do approximately 2 minutes of vigorous air cycling upon first laying down, like as fast as your legs can go. Don't forget to support your lower back. To avoid injuring a bedmate or innocent passerby. It helps to scream everybody out of my way. Before you really pick up the pace. If you've ever wondered when's a good time to wash your sheets. At the very least one a week. Extra fabric softener will also treat your body nice when you got to bed. Instructions unclear. Dangerous rash on skin from showering with downy. Ignore price tags. A good mattress. A good pillow. And high thread counts are worth every penny. Eat the ass. Get good at eating out. That way you won't be tempted to bring your meal into bed and get crumbs everywhere. Commentators here like your SX is cool and all. Time turning off the DS so that Mario says bye one second before your mother walks in. Sleep naked. Try it at least once. Lubrication. Especially on the joints and wheels of a metal bed frame to, to stop them from squeaking when trying to get comfortable when you sleep. If you sleep with stuffed animals. Wash them in a pillowcase on a delicate setting and then put them in the dryer on a low setting. I do it about once a month or when I notice I'm getting acne on my jawline or neck. They will have fun getting a bath and jumping around in the bouncy castle. Edit. Forgot to say no more than 3-4 at a time depending on their size and not the pillowcase. If you balance yourself just right. You should be able to make yourself into a human bee blade. Proper pillow between your knees if you sleep on your side. It works wonders for the spine. OP. Let's ask Reddit about SX. Reddit. I just think beds are neat. Backflip. If you are too scared of the monsters so you completely cover yourself in your blanket. Then end up getting too hot or need more air. You would probably make a little gap around where your face is. Put it near your mouth. But make sure to never, ever, look out of that hole. Because if you do, oh man, just thinking about it, the monsters will be looking through. If you can't see them they can't see you. Only two people ever have looked through that hole and lived. A bunch of melatonin. No phone. Ether. And limiting blue light exposure will really help with you falling asleep. Edit. Thank you for all the recommendations to limit my melatonin use. I appreciate the lookout. I use it sparingly throughout the week and usually only take it if I am trying to go to bed but I'm not sleepy yet. Otherwise I go without it. I will not give up my ether though. Make sure you and your significant other have your own blankets. I cannot stress this enough. Wear a blindfold. Since I started wearing one to bed it's helped me fall asleep way faster than before. I recommend a padded one as it's quite comforting. So much so you may forget it's there when you wake up. Bonus points if you get the ones with bluetooth earbuds. Keeping your alarm on the other side of the room really kickstarts your day. non or bed tip. If you get your period overnight and need to clean up blood. Hydrogen peroxide works wonders. It'll get blood out of a mattress in no time. Szul bed tip. So you started your period last night and got a bunch of blood on your sheets. But you fixed that with hydrogen peroxide and now you would like to get laid in your freshly bloodless bed? Cut a new. Non latex cosmetic sponge in half. Wet it and wring it out. And stick it in your vagina. As close to your cervix as possible. It'll hold more blood than you'd even think possible. 
and you can even get fingered without someone noticing there is anything in there. Remove it as soon as is convenient. Because it is a foreign object and toxic shock syndrome is a real thing. Don't want to put a cosmetic sponge in your snatch because toxic shock syndrome is a real thing? Go to Planned Parenthood and pick up some internal female condoms. They fit inside you. And melt with the heat of your vagina. Add some lube. And enjoy not bleeding on anyone's dick. Fingers. Toy. Etc. But only if the guy is sponge worthy. This comment section is oddly wholesome and I really appreciated y'all. I came here absolutely positive that I wouldn't see any NSFW comments before I got too lazy to keep scrolling and I was not disappointed. Closing you eyes helps you sleep. Having a bed is more comfy. Strange one isn't it? Whoa. I am way dirtier than the first 20 commenters. All about actual tips for sleeping. What is this? I'm not saying I have a naughty tip to add. Just wanted read up on some suggestions. Color me disappointed. Don't tell anyone but I was looking for dirty tricks. Semicolon. Try spinning. That's a good trick. Drinking green tea one hour before bedtime can lead to a better and easier sleep. Don't focus on just the little tiny bit of the clit you can see. What we can see is only about 20% of the actual clitoris. The rest of which extends out into the vulva. Only paying attention to just the little pea-sized part we are told about in health class would be like concentrating on just the tip. Hands computer to boyfriend love. Get the heck out of here with that dirty stuff. This thread is for bed tips. How is this meant to help me in bed? Like I'm here trying to figure out some cool sleeping tricks and you talking about clitorises. Clean the bottom of your feet before you hop in. Okay. So I was expecting like SX tips. But the entire thread is tips for literally setting up care maintenance of a bed. Bro. Oh, I am pleasantly surprised. Ladies. Remember the Olay dick twist. Grab his dick and twist IT. Both hands opposite directions. I recently learned that you're supposed to lie on top. Rather than under. The bed. Always clean your partner. I hate how I get in the mood for some loving and the corpse smells like. Up up down down left right left right be a start. Deep breathing techniques can work well for relaxing the body and mind to make for deeper. More satisfying sleep. If hot. Sleep over the sheets. If cold. Under. If sleeping with someone. Dutch oven M to show who's boss.